Sharkbait. 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 <laughs> Welcome, brother Sharkbait. <laughs> My name's Bruce. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another Pixar movie because who doesn't want to do more Pixar and watch more Pixar? I did a vote on my Instagram. I did a whole heap of movie voting on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on my Instagram, I tend to do that. Like I chuck up on my stories like my favorite music and sometimes I do voting and that kind of thing of movies for my channel. And for this one, it was very, very close. It was between Soul and uh, Finding Nemo and Finding Nemo just won, like just, like it was, it was extremely, extremely close between the two. And I was like, okay, let's watch Finding Nemo. I have not seen this movie in years. However, I know I'm going to be able to quote so much. There's gonna be so much I'm gonna be able to like quote this and this and this. Like there's certain lines that I remember and I like I remember the general story but I actually haven't seen it in so long. So I thought you know I might as well chuck up both of them. I was like oh should I do Soul but you guys voted for Finding Nemo so that's what we're doing today. And I'm not disappointed about watching Finding Nemo. I mean it's set in the Great Barrier Reef which is in Australia, in Queensland. So, I mean, we got some Aussie rep. I'm excited to just chuck this on and watch something fun and exciting. And I don't think you can really hate Pixar. I mean, sometimes they hit and miss, but pretty much all Pixar movies I've seen, I've loved. I enjoy the heck out of Pixar. It's such a good production company and they have so many bangers. They have so many movies that they're just like, hit out of the park like they nailed so many of them and it's like who wants to complain about Pixar movies I mean what is the point of that so I feel like I'm just gonna be so so happy I don't know if I'm gonna cry usually I cry during Pixar movies like Toy Story 4 I cried um but I don't know if I will or not I'm not 100% certain I mean we got some tissues over there so in case of emergency. Okay, well, I guess let's just jump straight into Finding Nemo. I think this is gonna be pretty fun and exciting and a good throwback. I've never seen the Pixar opening like that before. That angle, never seen that before. Well, I don't even remember seeing that, but not usual. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, wow. Marlin. I, no, I see it. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. What if they don't like me? Marlin. Oh, really? There's over 400 eggs. Odds are one of them is bound to like you. 400? That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of babies. 400 babies. That's a lot of crying. <laughs> Hide. Hide. <gasps> oh, that's... Sh oh, my God. Coral. Get inside the house, Coral. Mm. Why do they always have to open with such sad openings? I think what I love about that opening is um, the change in sound and colour and atmosphere. Like before her death and then after her death. Like when he goes in and all the babies are gone and it's like the echo. Like the echo of loneliness in like this cave is so sad all the saturation and color has just disappeared like it's gone that's horrible why does pixar movies always have to open with like either something really really happy or something really really sad and depressing always how's the lucky finn lucky let's see <laughs> are you sure you want to go to school now what's the one thing we have to remember about the ocean it's not safe that's my boy it's not safe i hate the ocean I hate it so much. This is an exception. I can endure it for Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, I can get through it. The ocean is a scary, scary, horrible place that likes to kill people. It's a murderous environment. Hey, you're a cloudfish. <laughs> you're funny, right? Hey, tell us a joke. There's a mollusk, see, and, and he walks up to a sea. Well, he doesn't walk up, he swims up. Well, actually, the mollusk isn't moving. <laughs> He's in one place, and then the sea cucumber, well, they are mixed up. It's the worst at telling jokes. Don't even try it, Marlin. Huh, I wonder where my class has gone. <laughs> oh, there you are. Come on. 
Bored Explorers. He seems like such an awesome teacher. There's always that one teacher that everyone loves. You live in what kind of home? How gorgeous, guys. Isn't that just beautiful to look at? Pixar. Bloody Pixar. I think I went to the Great Barrier Reef and I was like 12. I did snorkeling there. It's pretty amazing. <gasps> Stromalytic cyanobacteria, gather! <laughs> wow, look at that shot. Just like, look, look. I feel like I'm just gonna say this this whole movie. It's like, look at this shot. Look at this shot. Look at this shot. Isn't that just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful? Everything's beautiful. He said it was called um, a butt. A butt. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty big butt. <laughs> Go touch the butt. Smack the butt. <laughs> you think you can do these things, but you just can't, Nemo. No, I hate you. <gasps> oh, oh. It's like you have to have faith in your child, but also you need to be protective, but not overly protective. I can't talk because I'm not a parent from that perspective. You need to give them some sort of freedom. Being overly protective can be just as bad as the opposite, if that makes sense. Touch the butt. Touch the butt. Don't touch the butt. <laughs> Nemo! He touched the butt. <laughs> Please! Look out! What? <laughs> Problem, buddy? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? One piece of meat? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm scared now. <gasps> oh, oh my God, Bruce. Oh fuck. Hello. <sighs> my name's Bruce. Right. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my God, those teeth. Look at those teeth. Chop. <sighs> what I love is Bruce. Is this is like a throwback to not a throwback is like a Easter egg to Jaws because the mechanical shark that they made, they named it Bruce. So they named the shark in this movie Bruce. I like that, that little nod to Jaws. I must first change myself. Fish are friends, not food. I'll start the testimonies. Hello, my name is Bruce. Hello, Bruce. I love how intense the Aussie accents are. Like, they're so heavy. Right then, who's next? Oh, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me! Yes, the little Sheila down the front. Woo! Sheila, people, don't say Sheila. Please, please don't say Sheila. Good <laughs> on you, mate! <sighs> I'm glad I got that off. Mate, mate is a word, yes, say mate. How about you, mate? Mate. Humans think they own everything. Probably American. Now there is a father looking for his little boy. Come here. We're all mates here, mate. You can't read human. We're all mates here, mate. <laughs> oh, not the blood, not the blood, not the blood. I'm so sorry. Mm, not the blood. Oh, the, oh, the pupils going black. Oh, God, that's scary. I think they put like the most generic Aussie slang. Mate, G'day, and Sheila. They're like three of the most generic Aussie words ever. Let's go! Ah! Here's Brucey! Uh, got another Kubrick, The Shining, Shining reference. Here's Johnny! Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ew. Nice. Buzz, buzz. There was a buzz on the ground. Buzz was on the ground. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Easter egg, Easter egg, Easter egg. I feel so understood watching this movie. I just, I feel like such a connection to this movie because of all the Aussie references and environment and accents. My bubbles. Who doesn't like bubbles? Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> We oui. clean in. We oui. <laughs> ocean. Ooh, la mer. Bon. <laughs> voilà, he is clean. <laughs> Jacques is the best. I love Jacques. He's French just because he's French. I okay, I'll go. Ah, ah! Oh my god, what the hell? This dentist. How aggressive is this dentist? He's like killing his mouth. <laughs> 
Hey, Nigel. What did I miss in my life? Love Nigel. Nigel is amazing. I love Nigel. Say hello to your new mummy. She's gonna be here Friday to pick you up. You're her present. Don't even get me started with Dala. She is one of the scariest things I've ever seen in a movie. April. Wow, from the ocean. Just like you, Gil. Yeah. Willem Dafoe as Gil is so perfect in this role. The voice acting just like works for his character so perfectly. I don't know, he has just like this presence to his voice. Don't ask me why, I can't really explain it. I think also um, the way that the shots are captured, the extreme wide shots are like so perfect in illustrating the scale like of size of the fish compared to like everything else in the ocean, how like vast and open it is. It's such a perfect way of showing scale and perspective, I think, and proportions between objects with those extreme wide shots just like... It's kind of mesmerizing to look at. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Swim, you want See, to I'm gonna get stuck one. now with that song. Now it's in my head. Sorry. Oh, oh no. Am I gonna have just keep swimming stuck in my head for the rest of the day? I feel like that's gonna happen. And I don't want that to happen. It's definitely gonna happen. Oh, don't even get me started on this fish. This fish used to scare the shit out of, out of me as a kid. I, like, never wanted to watch this scene because of this fish. Like, stay away from me. The teeth? No. Don't even... No. I don't want to look at it. Hi. I'm feeling happy. You won't be happy soon. Good feelings gone. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Light, please. Voila. Oh my God. No eating here tonight. Woo! Eating, eating here, here tonight. tonight. No, no, no eating here tonight. Dory. You're on a diet. Are we going to get shark bait? Hoo ha ha. That's it, right? Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. Hoo ha ha. It's shark bait. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. Maybe. I think that's it. Swivin so moi. Follow Jacques. Go follow where Jacques. me. Yeah, follow Jacques. I love how regal he looks. Like the the mustache. I don't know. His whole vibe and like the mustache like gives me f French vibes. <laughs> not the bubbles. They're not your bubbles. Stay back from the bubbles. Shark bait. Shark bait! Welcome, brother Shark bait! Shark bait! Roll ourselves down the counter, out of the window, off the awning, into the bushes. <gasps> was that the van? It was the van. It was the Pizza Planet van. Good sight, guys. Good sight. That was the Pizza Planet van. Thomas Newman did the score that, like, slipped my mind. Thomas Newman. Thomas Newman. Fantastic. Like, such an amazing composer. We got Skyfall. We got Wally. The 1917 score is absolutely amazing and I listen to it all the time. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. If you haven't seen that movie, watch that movie. You mean you don't like me? No, of course I like you. It's because I like you, I don't want to be with you. It's not you, it's me. What kind of, like, rejection is that? A, this is a breakup. Oh, Sandy, who's got relatives in Sydney? Sydney Opera House. Icon. Ow! Dory! That's a jellyfish! Oh, bad squishy! Bad squishy! Shoot! 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 Get it! Stay away from the jellyfish. Stay away from jellyfish. Is it true that if a jellyfish gets you, you should pee and it will come off? I don't know if that's like a rumor or if that's actually true. I'm sorry, but that actually looks so beautiful. They're so pretty. That is so gorgeous. Jellyfish are crazy and dangerous, but... They look gorgeous and stunning. Why is it that the most beautiful things are the most dangerous <laughs> and can kill you? Wait. 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 
the sea turtle. The sea, oh, the sea turtle. Oh, the, oh, I completely forgot about the sea turtle. Dude. Just go with it, dude. <laughs> you miss your dad, don't you, shark bait? Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Dude. Oh. oh, he lives. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh. First you were all like, whoa. And then we were all like, whoa. And then you were like, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> You gotta have all the stereotypical stoner surfers. You gotta have one in there. Or a whole heap. Dozens and dozens. That looks so fun. Oh my god, that looks. Ha uh ha! -huh! Writers! Writers! Yeah! So give me some fin. Noggin! Dude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice pen here, man. And sending us to blast as well. Little fishing pen! Searching the ocean for days! On the East Australian current! Which means that he may be on his way here right now. I'm so, so surprised that that story stayed exactly the same all the way through. Chinese whispers, that's what it's called, right? You tell one story to someone and then it changes and then it changes again. And then the story doesn't usually stay consistent, especially 10 times down into different groups. But apparently it stayed exactly the same, which is good, I guess. You have to admit, seagulls are one, are one of the most annoying birds and animals ever. Like, if you're at the beach, never feed a seagull because then they'll just swarm you and be like, give me your food. Never feed a seagull. You will majorly regret it. Hey, 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 hey. What the? Ah! Good thing I pulled the right one. Hey, Prime Minister. Prime Minister? Was that the Prime Minister? Who was our Prime Minister in 03? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, first, find your exit buddy. <laughs> Do you have your exit buddy? Yes! <laughs> Crush, I forgot! How old are you? 150, dude! It's still young! 150. 150. That's old. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Sorry? <laughs> can I whistle? Or can I hum it? Well, can I hum it? All right. Hum it. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> <sighs> Zen. Be Zen. Let's go speak whale. Who wants to speak whale? Oh. I don't think that's a little fella. No, it's a whale. We need uh, Dory. To find what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Come back. Him. Tastes pretty good to me. <laughs> Don't you people realize we are swimming in our own sh Here he comes. Shit. Swimming in their own shit. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my god. I'm getting this music on my phone after this movie. Oh, the violins, just like the strings. The strings, so beautiful. Well, you can't never let anything happen to him. Then nothing would ever happen to him. Mm -hmm. Truth. Oh, that water motion and animation. I'm sorry, but the texture, that te the texture of the tongue and the water. So real. Oh, wow. The animation is just like chef's kiss. Beautiful, amazing. Sydney! Yes, Sydney again! <laughs> Gotta have the opera going. And what are we gonna do about <laughs> Dala? Hey, stay down, kid. Not Dala. Oh, not yet. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Dala! Psycho. <laughs> She's Norman Bates. <laughs> That's how psychotic Dala is, and how murderous she is. She's from Psycho. Fish got your tongue. Ah! Ah! Love a duck! Ah! I gotta find my son Nemo! <gasps> Nemo? 
Mine? Mine. That is one of the funniest scenes ever. Darla, your uncle will see you now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm a piranha. Damn the Amazon. And a piranha is a fish. Dala for being a murderous little brat. Why is why is that scene? It's more intense than I remember it being. Crazy, kind of all over the place. Very manic. Just like, what the fuck is going on? Hey, hey this hey, is our spot. Come on, get out of here. Yes, <laughs> oh, you were dead. I saw you. It's a little cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I saw him, Bluey, but I'm not telling you where he went. Mine? 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm talking! I'm talking! He went to the fishing ground! Mine, mine, mine. I'm coming, Nemo! Yay! Nemo! Oh, thank goodness. It's alright, son. It's gonna be okay. Fucking knew I was gonna tear up. Fucking knew it. Daddy. Oh, thank goodness. Dad. I don't hate you. Oh, no, no, no. Only teared up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just just a little. It's okay, it went away. <laughs> so just then, the sea cucumber looks over the mollusk and says, with fronds like these, who needs anemones? <laughs> yes, got the joke right, yes. Pardon me. Bruce. We'll see you next week. Keep up with the program, Dory. Remember, fish are free. Not food. I love it, vegetarian sharks. Like, who even thinks of that? <laughs> Oh, how adorable. I love you, Dad. Oh. I love you too, son. Oh. It was such a cute movie. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, there's more. Oh, shit, they escaped. Oh, my God, I completely forgot. Is that the Peace Planet van again? <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba. Somewhere. Beyond the sea. Oh, oh shit, there's an end. Oh, oh, how did I not know about this end credit? It's post credit. It just ate it. Wow, amazing, fantastic, incredible. So good. Finding Nemo is amazing and so good and just like everything you want in a family film. But like, it's relatable for anyone, I think, especially for families. Like, this is a lot more focused on the parent and child dynamic, but also it's pretty much focusing on, you know, you need to step out of your comfort zone. You know, like Dory said, you can't experience things unless you have the chance to do it. Like, if you don't take that step, how are you not going to be able to learn and grow as a person? This movie is so flawless and has nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And the animation is beautiful. Absolutely amazing. The music is so good. The cinematography is amazing. The characters, the voice acting, everything. Like, I just... I can't fault it in any way at all. This is definitely up there with like best Pixar films. Like I have, I'm currently like re-watching a lot of them. I mean, we did Incredibles, we did Toy Story 4, we've done Finding Nemo. I feel like we've done another Pixar. I can't remember. But we do a lot of Disney and Pixar on the channel and just re-watching them, I'm like Finding Nemo is legit like such a good movie. This is like gone up there in one of my favorite movies, like, well, fa family films, animated films. I feel like this hit home for people who are parents more than like just a normal person like me, because I feel like there's a lot more topics th uh, that certain people can connect with if they have children. 
like it makes sense but I think it's definitely a film that anyone can enjoy. So if you haven't seen Finding Nemo I would highly highly recommend it. It looks beautiful to like just to watch and some of the scenes are just so memorable and it's so quotable as well and I love all the little easter eggs to other films and that kind of thing like we had Jaws, we had Psycho, um, there was other ones that I can't remember but there's there's like so many little things that you can like pick up on. <sighs> this is such an amazing film and I will definitely have this on a more rewatchable film. I think something that I can like chuck on a lot more and be like this is amazing. Like this is a legit good movie. Let me know if you love Finding Nemo, if this is one of your favorite Pixar's. If you don't that's fine. What's what, what's your favorite Pixar movie? What's your favorite family friendly film? Is this something you grew up with? Have you seen it recently? Just all your thoughts on Finding Nemo. I mean who doesn't want to talk about it? Well I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.